Mario Maker 2 released on June 28th, 2019 as the successor to Mario Maker for the Wii U. Despite the addition of several new items, enemies, and themes, one critical feature was missing. The ability to edit downloaded levels was nowhere to be found. This feature missing meant that in-depth Kaizo levels became very hard to practice, and a lot more people could get away with uploading levels that relied on hidden information, like passcode levels. But now, over two years after the game has released, there is a way. Thanks to G Xiaomai and The Great Rambler, we now have a combination of tools that allows you to open any level in an editor view, all on a computer. Today, I will be showing you how to do just that. The first thing we need to do is obtain the level file of the level that we want to view. To do this, we're going to be using the Great Rambler's Super Mario Maker 2 public API. This will, of course, be linked down below. What we need to do is go to the level data tab, type in the level code that we want to view, and when the link at the bottom turns green, right click it, copy it, and then open it in a new tab so that the level will download. From there, we have to make sure that we either save the file as or rename it to a .bcd file. If it is not renamed like this, it will not work. One other thing, the Great Rambler is hosting this on a server that he is paying for out of his own pocket. In addition, he's using his Switch for this, which means that it could potentially get banned. If you want to support him on this endeavor, please consider checking out his Patreon. I'm going to leave that linked below as well. The next step is obtaining the level viewer. You'll get this from G Xiaomai's SMM2 level viewer page on GitHub. Once you're on the page, all you have to do is go to the tab on the right tagged releases, click on where it says one tags, and then go to assets and debug.v001.zip. Clicking on this will automatically download the file for you and you just have to save it. Once it's downloaded, please make sure to unzip it wherever you'd like. It is finally time to open the level. Start the SMM2 level viewer and drag in the level that you downloaded earlier. Once you drop it in, you'll see everything populate. If you are trying to drag your level into the Mario Maker level viewer and nothing is happening, there's a good chance that the folder that you put all of these files in has a space in it. Close the program, rename the folder to not have a space, and try again. Once everything populates, you will see a lot of information. The text on the right tells us basic information about the level, such as the title and description. The two lists in the middle of the program tell us exactly what objects were placed at what position in the editor. Finally, the scroll bar at the top tells us what scale the editor should display at. This feature doesn't actually work, so if you adjust it, nothing will be displayed. To finally view your level, click either the button on the left or the right at the bottom of the program. The left shows you the main world and the right shows you the subworld. Once you're inside, you can use your mouse to drag around and explore the level. That's it! If you have any questions or need help, please let me know in the comments below and I will do my absolute best to assist you as fast as I can. That being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you get a lot of use out of this and I hope to catch you soon. Have a great one.